we could replace all of the huge ships' engines with nuclear propulsion. The Russians have six nuclear-powered icebreakers in the Arctic. Nuclear-powered submarines go underwater for three months with a hundred nuclear missiles. If you can do that with nuclear propulsion, you can take a super tanker or a cargo ship. All burning fuel could all be run by nuclear energy. The strangest thing that Germany would give up nuclear power. They're the epitome of engineering. The German psyche is a dual. It's a dual psyche. On one hand, they're very scientific and very rigorous. On the other hand, they have this fantasy of nature. They have a childlike attitude towards nature. They have this other side of them besides the technical side. The fantasy side seems to have won, especially with the degree to which Germany is going along with this whole net zero thing. If we actually achieve net zero, at least 50% of the population would die of hunger and disease. Just just one thing, which is nitrogen-based fertilizer, which won two Nobel prizes, uh, one for developing the process of combining natural gas with nitrogen in the atmosphere to make ammonia, basically. The other Nobel Prize was for the, for the person who scaled it up to an industrial level. At least 50% of the population depends on nitrogen fertilizer for its existence today. There's no doubt about that. And there's people trying to ban it. And it, Netherlands and Sri Lanka have already made these kind of moves. And it is truly a, a death wish in disguise. And the disguise is to save the earth. You will own nothing and you will be happy. For this reason, I think they are our enemies. Uh, not just uh, our enemies, but the Earth's enemies.